Now it seems Yvonne is getting a taste for living dangerously in Shortland Street. Hi, I'm Fran Piper, Alice's mum. Mum? <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Where's the sense of humour? Is it hiding in that bird's nest? Mum, there's nothing wrong with my hair. It needs a good cut. Look, I'll do it for you. I don't need a cut. Now sit down. How long are you going to be staying exactly? Well, that's the best part. What do you mean? I'm not visiting. I'm moving to Ferndale. You'll see me every day. What about Roscoe? Uh, what about him? Uh, don't tell me he's giving you the flick. What about your job? I don't have a job, not anymore. Oh, no, Mum, not again. It wasn't my fault. Look, I spent hours making over a client and she refused to pay. Said I made her look like an ageing slapper. <laughs> Never mind, it was a huge improvement. She just sort of stuck in... What did you do? Uh, I stood up for myself, that's all. I mean, the boss should have supported me, but he's never been good with stuff, I told you that. Anyway, I'm glad it's happened now because I've made a huge, exciting decision. The city is not for you. It is, and I'm going to start my own business. Using what for cash? Oh, it's going to be brilliant, Alice. My own salon, my own client base, and that's just the beginning. I'm going to franchise the operation and move into hair products. I'll have Francesca paper share. What are you talking on. about, Mum? You can't even manage a credit card, let alone a business. And you can never stick at anything. Well, I might if I had a little support. You know, all I ever get from you is he can't do this, he can't do that. You're so negative, I'm Alice. I'm just being realistic. Yeah, and I'm trying to follow my dream and make something of myself. You could at least be happy for me. <sighs> I just don't want to see you getting into a mess. You know, I've got a great feeling about Ferndale. It's the right place at the right time, and uh, I just... I'm sorry. I can't do this tonight. I'm too tired. Meaning, shut up, Fran. Fine. I'll just go ahead and make plans without you. Scarlet! Oh, hi. Is anybody watching? Movie. It's not great. But I like it. Oh, there's leftovers in the fridge. Oh. No, I'm all good. Uh, I'll make a drink, though. Anyone? No, thanks. I'm not over herbal. <sighs> Um, you don't have to tidy up, Sarah. It's okay. No, I don't mind. Well, it's just that it's a bit hard to hear with you uh, clattering around. I didn't realise I was clattering. You're not. And we can always turn the sound up. Uh, forget it. I missed what the guy said about the, um, it won't make sense now. <sighs> Sorry. It's not you. He's grumpy about work. I'm not grumpy. Hey, um, are you too busy tomorrow night? Because I wanted to take you out to dinner to say thank you for all of your support and everything. Oh, that'll be lovely, except we've both got meetings on. Oh. Which reminds me, I must call Scarlett. What for? Uh, babysitting. Margaret's got something on. Oh, well, I'll do it. Babysit? Yeah, why not? <sighs> Never really seen you as the child-minding type. Uh, well, I do have one of my own, Chris, and I'm free. Oh, I'm not worried about that. <laughs> well, it's the least I could do for you. The offer's there. Come on, snap it up. OK, we will. Yeah, thanks. You're asking me to be negligent. I'm not. If you read the patient history... I have read the patient history, Brenda. That's exactly why I'm ordering the scan. It's overkill. Um, anything I can do? Yes. Mr. Ronaldo on cubicle two. Came off his mountain bike. He's got serious graze in his right leg, and he's scrubbing up with betadine, and he needs tetanus and antibiotic cover. OK, that sounds fair to me. He hasn't finished. The patient has serious bruising on the right upper abdomen. I'd like to order a CT scan to rule out the possibility of internal damage. Only Mr. Ronaldo is a Brazilian tourist. He's got no travel insurance and limited funds. A CT will cost him a thousand dollars. He can't afford. His wallet is not my concern. Now I've made the decision. Uh, I'd appreciate. Sarah, read the notes. The biking accident happened two days ago. If there was a serious problem, there'd be more evidence of it by now. There's enough there for me. He's having a scan. You'll ruin his trip. He needs every cent he can okay, get. Okay, stop. <sighs> Mark's right. Our first concern has to be for the health of the patient. Thank you. But I do sympathise with Mr. Ronaldo's money worries. I've been there myself. So I think the best thing to do is for me to grab the portable ultrasound and scan it myself, free of charge. How's that? You're the boss. What's your problem? Why ask me, Sarah? What would I do? Oh. 
I've been thinking a lot about that poker game the other night. Here we go. I've been waiting for this. What? For you to start on about Jay, how she set you up and robbed you blind. But she didn't. You went just as crazy as she did. I'm not accusing Jay of anything, except maybe being a lousy winner. <laughs> no maybe about it. I've never seen her like that. It was ugly. Not that I hold it against her. In fact, I'm willing to have another game. <sighs> over my dead body. Oh, don't say that. It was Jay's lucky night. I just want the chance to turn the tables. And what if she beat you again? I'd be fine with it. It's just a game. It would be war and I would be stuck in the middle, so no. Maya, you're taking it all too seriously. I'm trying to smooth things over with Jay. Give us all something we can enjoy together. Well, in that case, fine. Come around. I'll get some ice cream and a few DVDs. <laughs> and we'll sit around and bond all night. But your purse does not pass that door. <sighs> How's things in ED? Keeping you busy? Yes, as always. You? He'll be manic tomorrow when the PCC opens. Place is going to erupt. So if you're looking for a change of direction... I'm not. He's got it too good where he is. Can't ask for better mentors than Craig and Sarah. Oh, I feel outshone. But it's early days. You haven't seen my best yet. Well, if we have, we're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, thinking of having some drinks down the bar tonight with the PCC's head, 7 o'clock, if you're interested. Ah, uh, thanks, mate, but I'm booked. Ah, uh, Sarah, drinks tonight, 7 o'clock? Uh, I'd love to, but I can't. Uh, Mark, your Brazilian patient is fine. No liver lack, no splenic involvement, so he's ready for discharge when you are. I can't believe it. Open credit card and no takers. I feel like I'm in another dimension. He's thick-skinned, I'll give him that. Hmm. Him and Sarah both. Hmm? That patient she was talking about. Brenda was arguing with me over his treatment. Sarah undermined my decision, took the case off me, and now she's acting like she did nothing wrong. Uh, she said the patient was okay. You're saying she made a bad call? That's not the point. And what is? She made a decision, stop you guys scrapping, push the case through. Isn't that what the boss is meant to do? Are you Sarah's PR agent? No, but if Craig or Chris had taken the same actions, you wouldn't be complaining. <laughs> Next, she'll be calling me sexist. Look, Sarah's not consulted by mistake. She's the boss because she's earned it. Sounds like Craig and your brother share that Valentine temper, huh? No kidding. But Jack's been better now that he's living with Mum. Oh, isn't that lovely? Gosh, you must miss him. Oh, I'll see him in the holidays. That's if I pass my exams. Oh, you'll fly through. Only if she keeps studying. Oh, I knew I was meant to be doing something. That is the last time you distract her, Mum. These exams are important. I'm not distracting anyone. You bailed her up for more than an hour last night going on about the salon and just now... She was excited for me, unlike you. She can't even get a sandwich to her room without you nattering on. Promise me you'll leave her alone, OK? <gasps> now, this I really love. So sexy. Look, red leather jeans. Mum, are you listening to me? I'm talking about Scarlett. You're not talking. You're going on like an old school mum, and it's driving me crazy. I don't know what's wrong with you, Alice. We'll transfer you up to water as soon as we can, Mrs. Lugate. Just try and relax, OK? Excuse me, Sarah. Uh, I owe you an apology. You made a call on our Brazilian patient, and I gave you attitude for it. It won't happen again. I'm sorry. Well, thank you for speaking up. <laughs> yeah, well, sometimes it takes a mate to point out when you're being prat. TK did that for me. I'll make sure he never has to do that again. OK? That works for me, yep. I really enjoyed myself at that poker game, more than I have in a long time. Even the bit where you lost a packet? It's all part of it. Part of nothing now, thanks to Misery Maya. Mm, forget about her. What are you doing tonight? Hey, I hear you've been standing up for me. Mark said you gave him the hard word. Oh, I just reminded me of the boss. Well, thank you. But don't go making a habit of it. I have to earn my own stripes. There's a passing comment. I hardly said anything. Yeah, sure, sure. And you want to have dinner tonight at my place? We'll just do takeaways. I'm all cooked out. I can't. I am babysitting Harry. Yeah. Mm. A favour for Chris and Tony. The rest of my life's a total mess, but this is the one thing yes, I can sir, do. Yes, so... I get that. I'm part of the mess. You don't have to trail it on. I'm oh, not. I didn't mean it like Look, that. If you want us to get together again, give me a call. Otherwise, I'm backing off. 